incredibly painful. It's a pain I can't exactly describe. And I'm pretty sure every time I've done my chest, because of how big it is, my body's like in shock afterwards because I'm like nauseous for hours and I can't stay warm and I'm crying oh and I'm like shaking. But- Is there any pre-procedural like directions they give you? No. So I, well, the first time they just put some cream on to numb you. The second time she suggests that I put ice on me to help numb it as well for an hour before. And then she put the cream and it still had me crying. So there's really not much you can do. I mean, they're, you know, melting a tattoo off of you, so it's gonna hurt. But the bright side is, is that although it was insanely painful, the next day even, it didn't even hurt. Mm -hmm. Unless I like bumped it or actually yeah. scratched it or sprayed perfume. Like I would walk all day, put my shirt, like it didn't hurt at all. Yeah. Same with my thumb and my face. Yeah. I, it hurts so bad, but as soon as it's done, it's like a tattoo. You're like, oh shit, was it really that bad? Yeah. <laughs> You're like, try to remember what it felt like, yeah. you know? So do you have plans? to redo your chest? Yeah, Megan Jean Morris is gonna redo my chest. And then once my thumb's gone, I have Johnny Quintana that does like the small black and gray. is gonna do this way it was supposed to be, which mm -hmm. is like a black and gray one. Mm -hmm. My face, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Yeah. <laughs> the money maker, don't touch the yeah, money I'm maker. Yeah, you know? my face. <laughs> <laughs> so what about, um, you know, your, uh, your plans for future tattoos. Are you gonna maybe be a little bit more methodical oh about, you don't probably have a lot of real estate now. And see, so, that's the thing. And now you're going through this double pain, yes. you know, triple pain. Yes. I feel like, I still like the ideas I originally had. Um, so a lot of things I'm taking off and then having redone kind of the same thought that I wanted or the, you know, whatever I wanted to get across, whatever point I wanted to make, but done by a better artist. Because back then, I just thought every artist was the same. I thought if you were allowed to tattoo, you must be able to, you know, they all tattoo the same, which is like the furthest from the truth. Like, there's some really bad tattoo artists out there.